Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Video, showing you how to connect your iPad Pro to a Chromecast. Now, um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Chromecast system, the way it works is um, you plug in your Chromecast to your TV, you connect it with your Wi-Fi network, and then um, you make sure your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. And then there are certain apps that you can work um, and basically cast or send things to the TV to play. Um, and right on the screen here, I have a list of just some of the really popular apps that are compatible with Chromecast. So the, the unfortunate thing is you cannot directly mirror your iPad screen to the TV with the Chromecast. Um, that feature is not available. You're only limited to certain apps. And so you do get a lot of the top apps. So Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Pandora, Spotify. And these are a couple of games that are new to Chromecast, so you can actually have multiple people linked together with the system. So if people have iPhones or even Android phones, they can all link up and then it will display one common thing on the TV. So I'm loving the Scrabble. I can't wait to try that one and see how that one works. We've also got ESPN, HBO Go, and HBO. Now here's the important thing that you need to look for in these apps in order to cast it or mirror it to the TV. Let's say I go into Hulu, for example. And I want to play a video. I'm going to go to Parks and Recreation. And I'm going to just play any one of them. And there's a, an icon that's going to pop up on the screen. And it's right down here. And it's the one that looks just like this. The, um, this is your cast icon right here. And when you see that, all you do is tap that. And it will automatically ask you, hey, where do you want to cast to? And so right now I'm on Wayne's iPad, but I can switch it. And my Chromecast, I've named it Hunger Games. So I just tap on Hunger Games. And now if I go up to the TV, you'll see that it is sending it right to the TV screen there. Now the way you control it is by your iPad. So you would have to pause it right here. So I can pause, I can move the video up and down in terms of like if I want to fast forward or rewind. So essentially your iPad is the remote for your Chromecast. And all the other apps work the same way. So if we go back to the home screen, um, all these apps you're going to look for the cast icon and when you tap that, that's what sends it to the TV. Now, um, one of the downsides of Chromecast is that Apple has not integrated it with their stock apps. So for example, I cannot um, cast my videos that I've purchased on the iPad or with Apple. You can't cast those to Chromecast. You also can't cast any of your music. And that's one of the really useful features that people use it for is they may have a surround system on the TV or the TV speakers are louder so they'll like cast Pandora or Spotify and they'll play music from the TV and control it from their iPad. Well, unfortunately, um, the Apple Music app and uh, Videos app is not compatible. But again, you can use Spotify, you can use Pandora, uh, even YouTube is compatible. And again, you just look for that icon if we open up Pandora really quick here. You'll notice in the left corner, you will have to kind of search for that icon sometimes, but there it is. And when I tap here, and I'm going to tap uh, Chromecast, or I'm going to tap my Hunger Games. And now, it will cast that right to the TV, and there's our Pandora. And now I can take advantage of the TV speakers. So, really cool. Um, Chromecast is only $35, really inexpensive, and it's a great way to again be able to play things from your iPad to the TV. It's not a fully tight system like uh, if you had an Apple TV but obviously Apple TV is $150, Chromecast is $35 so if you want to kind of go the inexpensive route and you're really just trying to find a way to get the YouTube videos, Netflix or Hulu to your TV then Chromecast definitely is the way to go and this is just the basics you need to know in order to work your iPad with it. So. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favor, and share the video if it was helpful. And hopefully Apple will expand um, what is possible with their system so that you can cast anything and mirror your screen as well. So once again, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.